it's Demi and Sean. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we've got a super duper exciting one. We are going to be doing a budget DIY on sweet transformation. I tell you, you've done the floor a while ago. And Butchered it. And then uh, there's going to, I think they were from them as well. They were from Amazon, weren't they? Yeah. So the same sort of thing, just cheap floor tiles really. But they're actually quite good, the ones yeah. we've got from Amazon, so... So, we're going to go to B&M, we're going to see what they've got. We want to paint the skirting board because it's currently like a wood colour which we're not happy with. We want to get some new flooring down. This is something Sean is going to take on at the roll-up. We're going to obviously give it a deep clean and a few home decor bits. We're going to head to Home Bargains and see kind of what they've got for this kind of DIY. You know, it's quite a modern ensuite. Right. It's like Same black and white, it's quite nice, but it just needs a few little changes to make it, I think, perfect. Yeah. I would like probably a black um, bath, like mat for when you come out the shower as well. I think black will look a bit better. Mm. So, anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be heading to Home Bargains, having a look, seeing what DIY bits we can pick up, and then you're going to see us try and transform it. So this is a before of the ensuite. As you can see, the tiles were not complete. They had been left like this for ages. I totally fucked them up. Um, should let Sean do them, but I did not. As you can see, it's just, it's all right. There's not much you can do with it, but we do want to just give it a little revamp. The skirting board desperately needed a paint just to kind of make it. It's getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my up now I will soon make a move Well, the joy has been in the shower cleaning it it's a good clean for the work a little bit of renovation, the home bargains, rental. So I'd start in the shower and get that done and then move outside. I've got this, it's a tight monkey down here. This corner is moving. Just cleaned that plug hole. Unbelievable. And I forgot to press record. So I'm doing the deep cleaning here. It took longer than I expected. Found some poor silicon which I removed, which I'll need to replace at a later date. And just really nuts and crannies I found out. It was just a bit more dust than I probably thought. flooring that was down didn't take much to remove as you can see just a bit of the chisel to prise it off and then pull it off A really really thick paint to use it was much thicker than some of the other paints that I'd used previously so it took us a while to get used to it but once I realized that it was really thinly as needed I picked it up quite quick after that and it didn't take long because there wasn't much skirt and board that I needed the paint Oh 
But anyway, I'm doing this little corner. Just doing that bit there. See what after he's silicon this, because the silicon there was just just looking at it now on sweet needs I'd be silicon. A lot of it does, some of it's like mouldy and black. Yeah, some of it's coming off and stuff like that. So more jobs to do, didn't you, when you look at other jobs? But, so I've just cut a bit out of that and what I can do and reuse this bit. You just gotta keep the arrows. I've got the, all the arrows pointing towards the door, like upwards. I think it just keeps the pattern the same throughout. So apparently this works for your cutting around a toilet. I looked on YouTube, it said get a bit of paper, a bit of cardboard, the size of your tile, so the box your tile comes in is a good good match and I've cut just slits slits in the side so that can go up against that line that up the way you want it and then you mark your line around there so you might like cut them out like that I think mark your line cut them out and that looks kind of good so I've got me tile the way I want it um, it's all about getting your orientation on the tile because that's Gonna be late. I've been to the gym, done my boxing class, second one I've done, feel mint after eating and stuff, but that's alright. Got this floor to do it. That's the state of it at the moment. Just gonna crack on with this. I think I might do that corner, get to that bit, I'll complete that. Then two there to do, get that done, and then you've got the toilet and that, which I've done before but I messed up because it's hard. <laughs> I can't be bothered with this, but I'm here next to the toilet. Cut the toilet one wrong again, but I'm gonna leave it and do it last because two decent cuts to do here. It's just getting your head around it. I just keep forgetting what to do. Okay guys, so this is the new flooring in the bathroom, just straight in the mirror trying to get it perfect <laughs> obviously I got the mat from home bargains and then the stick on tile flooring we've painted the skirt and board way and just some little details like the bonsai tray I've got my flannel basket obviously we've given it a deep clean I also got that little caddy for the shower which I'm yet to kind of put our shower gel in it's all clean and then we'll have our washing basket behind the door with a little bin but this is a little ensuite budget transformation obviously the main difference is definitely the floor with the skirt and board the main difference is the ensuite was definitely the floor and the skirt and board when we moved into the house the ensuite was quite modern anyway with a black and white theme however the floor was kind of a really pale wood color which i had then tried to stick some tiles down quite a while ago and it had gone horrifically wrong they'd been like that for a month you'd probably see it in one of the daily dose of us weekly vlogs they just didn't go very well and yeah we just left them because honestly life just took over and we got lazy and we just never done anything with it but Sean very kindly put down these tiles that we got from Home Bargains. Now to be completely honest with you the quality in these tiles compared to the ones that I got on Amazon is huge. The ones I got off Amazon were a lot more expensive. I paid around £60 which considering the size of the ensuite is a hell of a lot. That money went to waste of course because I thought I could ultimately tile and I broke a lot of them and we just decided we didn't want that expense again in case it was something that Sean couldn't end up doing but of course he is a jack of all trades or he's not he is an electrician but he made a good job of the tiling however the tiles from home bargains the quality is significantly different they are not as thick as the ones that i got from amazon and the i'll try and show you what i mean just in case any of you are considering a little diy so they have like a film on them um which is if crease you can kind of see the little creases on the tiles here um, you can see there which yeah isn't ideal and they slide when they're on the floor so there is there a few little gaps which we do have to then push them together which again is not ideal they don't stick down as well as the ones from amazon did we do have to keep patting them 
do find ourselves every now and again seeing the corner sticking up and having to hammer it back down to the floor we have actually purchased another glue which we're hoping will actually keep the tiles down but we're yet to try it and i think they're not going to last very long i'll keep you updated on the weekly vlogs but it is kind of a temporary thing i'm not sure how long they're going to last it may be that we get the floor professionally done or we may actually get the better quality tiles off amazon at a later date but if you want something temporary i feel like the tiles definitely do work they've given us an aesthetic that we wanted with the bathroom we wanted the floor to kind of match the rest of the bathroom which they've definitely given but how long for at this point i cannot tell you because we do not know it's the paint from home bargains to paint the skirting board this was not the best of paints to be honest not gonna lie when we were renovating the house and when i was painting the door frames downstairs i got the quick dry paint which dried to the touch within two hours this one took eight hours and it was very messy to use it was quite thick overall don't think i'd recommend that either but all of the little bits and bobs that i did get from home bargains the caddy the plant and everything i think with stuff like that it's absolutely amazing and you can't go wrong but i do feel for diy things in terms of the floor and in terms of the skirting board maybe invest a little bit more i do think it's worthwhile but we are just going to see how long it lasts and yeah this was our little home bargains mini diy it took a longer than expected because sean did kept cutting the tiles wrong as well it's really really hot when you don't know how to cut a tile it's really hard especially getting around the toilet and everything like that it was more stressful than we thought it was going to be we thought this was going to be a half a day diy it ended up being three days but in anyway to cut a long story short it was only 40 pounds so we definitely can't complain i love the look of the bathroom at the minute but how long for your guess is as good as mine thanks so much for watching this video if you would like to see more budget diys then let me know by giving this one a thumbs up if you've got anything that you think we should diy let me know and we may get on to that and yeah thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you very shortly for another one bye